Virtual reality, or VR as it's typically called, uses a VR headset to make users feel like they're inside of a virtual environment. For instance, imagine that you had a device on your head that allowed you to experience your favorite games as if they were real life. There are two types of VR headsets, 6 degrees of freedom and 3 degrees of freedom, otherwise known as DOF. 3 DOF headsets like the Google Cardboard allow you to look around in the virtual space, but not actually move around if you were to say, take a step forward in real life. 6 DOF headsets allow your real life movements to be tracked in the virtual space, as well as use real life controllers to represent your virtual hands in game. 3 DOF headsets are usually considered cheap gimmicks, while 6 DOF headsets are considered the real deal when it comes to VR. The controllers on 6 DOF headsets vary between different brands, but most of them feel natural to hold on to and feature buttons that make virtual actions easier to do in real life. Like how there is usually a button on the spot where you grip the controller for grabbing objects in the virtual world. Also, the games can usually tell what buttons you are and aren't pressing, and translate those into virtual gestures for your character. Six off headsets are divided into two different groups, standalone and PC VR. PC VR headsets are hooked up to a powerful gaming PC and act as displays while the PC does all the processing power. But with standalone headsets, all the processing power is done inside the headset and it can be taken anywhere and be used untethered. PC VR headsets can handle better and more graphically demanding games, while standalone headsets can only handle less demanding games and have limited storage for larger games. If you need a clear distinction, imagine that standalone headsets are smartphones, while PC VR headsets are gaming computers. Just so there is no confusion, you should also know that VR games are their own separate thing, and you can't play normal PC games like Fortnite or Valorant inside of virtual reality, although there are VR mods for some games such as Skyrim and Minecraft. But there you go, that's everything you need to know about VR in 2 minutes or less. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like down below, and comment anything you want to say so I know you enjoyed the video. But, as always guys, stay questing.